All right, today we're tuning this uh, 2010 543 valve F150. It's got a set of cams in it, come up with some other little odds and ends. Check it out. Alright, so here's this 2010 F-150. It's got a 35 inch tire on it with a 456 gear. I'm not sure uh, how much power that big wheel and tire is going to cost us, or the big tire I guess is going to cost us, but we'll see what it makes. Uh, it's this uh, 6R80 transmission that these came in. This is kind of the odd one, it's got the ECU in the transmission, they're kind of weird, it's a separate controller. Um, but yeah, so the engine pretty stock just got a cold air intake set up on it, which is actually pretty well built Sealed air box and stuff, which I prefer if you followed our other videos, you'll know that um, But yeah, it's got the four racing uh, Hot can hot rod cams or hot cams. I can't remember what they label them specifically, but that's what camshafts in it thing sounds really good um, See what it makes. It's got kind of the still got the truck intake manifold on it Which in my opinion is really the wrong intake manifold for that camshaft setup It is VVT locked out kind of deal and the cams those cams are going to want to work well to a moderate rpm range say somewhere in the mid 6,000 area on the 5.4 and uh, high 6,000 low 7,000 on the 4.6 obviously this being a 5.4 uh, It's just going to shift the power curve to the left, but uh, yeah jump into this thing See what it makes. I don't have a stock comparison number for these trucks. I wish that I did. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, dive into it and see what we can do. made just shy of 300 foot pounds of torque just shy of 250 wheels you can see there check out the power curve so you can see that this is really a mismatched combination like i said that camshaft should work well into the mid 6000s low 6000s it's making peak power at 5200 rpm super early and i'm gonna blame that all on the intake manifold um it just isn't uh the intake manifold isn't designed you know it's designed to work well to 5400 or so which is just past what we're seeing for peak power uh with the vbt so we've deleted the vbt which gives us a more peaky power curve anyway and then we've added a bigger camshaft that's supposed to work better in the later rpm ranges but we've left the intake manifold alone so i think an intake manifold would really benefit this thing um see if we can maybe look into doing that and bring the thing back here but uh that's it for now so not bad deal altogether. Like I said, I don't have a uh, I don't have a stock baseline for what these would make in from in factory form. I just don't know. I don't have a comparison on on this dyno or let alone with these big 35 inch tires too. We know that that's killing a bit. Uh, but yeah, so not all bad deal. I said the thing does sound great. So he's gonna take it and we'll make some plans for later.